Okay, guys, I never thought that I was going to be able to make this video, um, but here we are. I'm doing it, it happened, and so I want to let you guys in on the story of how I found my biological father using Ancestry DNA. So I never knew any of my paternal family. Before I was born, my mom was working somewhere where she was doing like construction cleanup temporarily at some hotel or something. And that's where she met my biological father because he was doing like construction kind of work at the time. So they met, met there for a few days while he was there doing construction and she was doing the cleanup for the construction. They only knew each other for like a few days, I think, and by the time she found out she was pregnant, she had no contact with him at all, and so I never knew my paternal family at all or who my father was, and my father didn't even know that I existed, and so I went my entire life wondering, like, what the situation even was, and if he even had an idea that he might have a daughter that he's never met, but it wouldn't make sense for him to know. So I really never thought that I was gonna be able to find him, and I don't know why it took me so long to do uh, an Ancestry DNA test. I wanted to for a really, really long time, but with all of the healing work I've been doing, I do a lot of like healing work and inner child work, and I feel like that was part of um, the closure that I needed to heal in some ways and just to have closure simply so Like two months ago or something I decided to get a DNA test because this is something that I've been wanting to do again like my entire life and It was eight weeks before I got my results. I was having dreams about this situation, I was getting anxious because again, I had no idea who my biological father was or my paternal family at all. Um, so the eight weeks that I had to wait for the DNA test, they were very, it was a very long <laughs> eight weeks for me. But a minute before my birthday, my birthday was just on the 12th of August, a minute before my birthday, so August 11th at 11.59 p.m., I got my results. So what <laughs> an incredible birthday present. So before I actually opened any of my DNA matches, I actually wanted to see my ethnicity and I wanted to kind of dive in to what that looked like because I honestly had no idea. Again, I didn't even know like 50% of like who I was my entire life. So this is the first thing that I wanted to dive into before I dove into the rabbit hole of finding my paternal family. So this is what I saw when I opened up my ethnicity estimate. I had some England and Nor Northwestern Europe, which I expected, 32% uh, Germanic Europe, 16% Scottish, 11% um, Norwegian, 5% Eastern Europe and Russian, uh, I have 2% of the Balkans, and 2% Irish. So a lot of this was surprising to me, especially like the German part. And that really spiked my interest of wanting to dive in to my DNA matches. I stayed up until like 4.30 a.m. the night that I got my results so I could dive in. And it was kind of overwhelming at first of everything that I was finding. But there is a Facebook group that I actually used and uh, it's called DNA Detectives. And basically you can find what's called a search angel in that group, which is someone who is willing to help you kind of find biological family using your DNA. So that's actually what I did. I kind of posted my story in there because I was still diving into it myself because there were a lot of matches that came up, but I didn't know what a lot of the information meant and I didn't know how to kind of tie everything together. So I reached out to someone or someone reached out to me in that group to kind of help me with this process. So as soon as I opened my results, I saw that I had a very strong match with somebody who shared 17% of uh, my DNA. So of course that was the first person that I kind of wanted to look into and kind of see how I was related. It says they were listed as like a first or second cousin and of course I've never really heard of this person before. Uh, so I decided to kind of dive into that first and I, I had a few cousins come up like 
like six or seven cousins right off the bat. So I kind of started diving into what that person's family tree looked like and trying to piece together where I kind of fit in that family tree. That led me down the rabbit hole of looking into my other cousins, looking into their family trees, searching obituaries to figure out who was related to, to who and how and kind of how I fit in that piece or really simply who my biological father even was and how they were related to these people. So this whole entire process took three days and of course I was working with a search angel who helped me tremendously shout out to you you know who you are thank you so much for your help and we were a little stumped at first because a lot of my paternal family hasn't taken a dna test but you can still kind of figure out a lot of information based off the family trees that they have built manually so even if for example my paternal father my biological father um didn't take a dna test but i was able to find him based on how he was related to people um, through their family trees that they manually created. And again, this process took three days, which really isn't long at all. But after getting, I knew I was in the right family. I knew that I had to reach out to someone after doing my own research. So I actually reached out to a cousin. Uh, I think it was like the second day of my search. And I just told her what was going on. Like, hey, I see that you're really close match to me. I'm actually looking for my biological father. This is the little information that I have. You know, I told her like uh, the year that I was born, where he met my mother and kind of that information. And she's like, oh, that's for sure my uncle. Right off the bat, which was the person that my search angel that was helping me said, she's like, if I had to bet money, I bet it's this person right here because it was the only person that made sense, but he didn't have any information on the internet at all. There was like no information about him at all all um so i was trying to piece it together myself and just with other family members so i did reach out to that cousin and she got me in contact with her mom which is my aunt and she was like here here's my mom's number she wants you to call her um just so you guys can verify some information <sighs> so i was super nervous but i got on the phone with her and she verified for sure i know exactly who that is that is my um i think it's her brother and she was just telling me a little bit about him and what he does for work and how he's traveling all the time and it just totally made sense it totally felt right and I was like yeah that that has to be him so she ended she was like okay I'm gonna call him really fast and and then I'll let you know what happens <laughs> so she calls him and I'm like sitting there like anxiously waiting again this is only like the second day that I I think yeah the third day actually now um, cause it took me a day to get in contact with my cousin's mom, but this was all happening the third day. So she calls him and it was kind of funny. Apparently, um, she was just like, Hey, your daughter's going to call you. And he's like, Oh, who this person? Cause I, he has another daughter and she's like, no, your other daughter. And he was like, cause he told me this on the phone when we talked. Um, so that was probably super, super shocking for him. Um, he, she ended up calling back and saying, okay, he's expecting a call from you now. Here's his number. Um, and I was super nervous. <laughs> um, but I called him and he was obviously in shock and I was in shock because I was finally able to talk to my biological father which was has been so mind-blowing to me for so long i never thought that i'd be able to put an identity or a face to the idea of my biological father what's really cool though is you know at first i kind of expected him to either maybe deny it or be confused and a lot of the time when you get your dna tests and you and you reach out to biological family a lot of the time they might get scared or nervous and delete their information which is why they recommend that you screenshot all of your matches and everything that way you still have the information just in case anybody deletes their information off of ancestry so i did that uh not knowing what to expect not knowing how he would react and i called him and he was so so nice um, <laughs> it was really shocking to talk to him, but it was like really easy to talk to him too. It was kind of crazy. It's, it was like we already knew each other, um, which was crazy. I did not, ex I was so nervous, like, but as soon as I got on the phone with him, I, f I felt comfortable and we were just talking and 
it was kind of like a really intense like emotional situation because he was like wow I had no idea and then he was telling me about what he did for work and where he worked and I was like yeah this is totally like this is starting to make sense now so we talked for a little bit um and he said I just want you to know that I'm that I'm open um and I would love to keep in contact with you and there's so many family members that you have to meet they'd love to keep in contact with you and that's what my aunt said as well she was super super excited and she said there's tons of family that would love to be in your life keep in touch you know so it was like a lot a lot at once but it was like the best that it could have turned out i really believe because it could have went like any way but since since i found out who my biological father is we've already talked on the phone um three times super cool guy apparently he lives out of state from where i live now but he's actually visiting right now because he was in he was in town for two weeks for work or something so imagine like visiting somewhere for two weeks and while you're there you find out that you have a daughter you never knew about that is only 50 five zero 50 minutes away from where you are now so he literally lives he's staying super close to me and he's here for like he's been here for like two weeks and so we're actually planning <laughs> it's so crazy we're actually planning to like meet up and get lunch or something i think within like the next week oh my god this is so crazy again i never thought that i'd be able to make this video um and it's still all super new like i don't have a ton of information on anything yet like um you know of course when i get like pictures and stuff or something if you guys want to see um i would love to show you guys but that's kind of where I'm at so far with this. I'm super grateful for Ancestry because at first I just I I just wanted to find out like my ethnicity and I was just super interested in you know where some of my features were from and like just not knowing really anything about myself. I was just really 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 curious. Um and then the more that I dove into like inner child work and stuff, um, I realized that that was a part of what I needed to heal and get closure. And I let go of all expectations before I took the DNA test, you know, because I, I know how um, these DNA tests can go sometimes, but I completely let go of all expectations. I really just wanted him to know that I exist. Um, and that's what I told him as well. And it actually worked out a lot better than I planned everyone that i've talked to in the, f in the family is like super nice super outgoing really like witty and charismatic and energetic and fiery <laughs> um which i totally vibed with right away everyone's been super super sweet and really easy to talk to and i'm just excited to see where this goes and i wanted to make a video on this because it literally just happened like it's been this past week where everything has happened and i just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know what i'm up to i know that i talked a little bit about this in my live stream um but if you are wanting to get a dna test just to figure out more about yourself your ethnicity or if you are looking for a biological family i absolutely recommend uh ancestry dna to do that it was really easy it was a really smooth fun fun process and it was a mystery that i honestly never thought that i was going to be able to solve and now that it actually happened it hasn't clicked yet i'm still like i'm still processing everything especially with how well it's went so far and how easy it is to talk to my biological father already um like he he just called me like i think the yesterday or the day before yesterday um and i was busy with a client but he left me a message and he was just talking about like oh have you heard of this band you need to check them out you're gonna love them it's like <laughs> it's just so comfortable already and it's so weird like i know this doesn't happen all the time so i'm still just processing like how crazy this is of course i'm just taking it one step at a time but i just feel so grateful that the entire process has been so like just smooth selling sailing and everyone has been just so kind and polite and welcoming and i know this was all meant to happen the way that it is happening because he's here too like he's literally like 50 minutes away from me of course we haven't met yet like i just said um but we're going to be hooking up something um like this week to meet so i will keep you guys updated on that but it's just been the crazy experience the craziest experience i've went my entire life without knowing who my father is and wondering if he even knew that maybe i existed if that even crossed his mind and it was a complete surprise to him and he said thank you better late than never i'm 
you know, I, I feel bad that I I didn't know, but you don't know what you don't know, and that I've never I would never hold something like that against him. Like stuff happens, it's totally fine. This was what the journey that I needed to take to receive the closure and the healing that I needed to receive for the work that I'm going through. So it's just been so so crazy, and I'm looking to connect to more family and. Him and my mother even talked on the phone. Like, my mother visited me the other day, and I only talked to him one time before that on the phone. That was the time where my aunt had me call him. And he, he did mention that he would love to just, like, chat with my mom for a sec, and she was open to it, and I was, like, so nervous to call him while she was here. But I just put him on speakerphone, and we just talked. They chatted and kind of ca caught up, like, oh, yeah, we, were, we worked there, and then this happened, and this happened. It was so weird to hear the entire story from both of them, like, just really confirming everything <laughs> that I believe to be true about this guy. It was just like, oh, that's confirmed, pretty much. Just like, And it, it was so cool to just hear them talk. We were just, like, laughing. It was, like, super comfortable, so crazy. I can't even believe that this has happened the way that it has, um, but it's off to like a really cool, <laughs> good start. So I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know like where I'm kind of at in this journey and what has happened so far. Um, so I just, you know, of course I wanna say thank you to the search angel that helped me um, with <laughs> this journey and also Ancestry because, you know, I've never used any other like DNA site, but Ancestry has been so cool, and I obviously was able to do what I got the DNA test to do and to find. So I'm just super excited and kind of like overwhelmed a little bit and just like still processing. But I wanted to make a little video to kind of let you guys know what has happened, and I will definitely keep you updated on that <laughs> so that's really all there is to it so far so if you guys have been on the fence about getting a dna test and you know whether it's just to figure out um, more of your ethnicity or maybe to find biological family i absolutely recommend doing it because this especially because it happened on my birthday this is like the craziest birthday gift ever i will definitely remember this birthday forever so <laughs> i love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning into this video um I really appreciate it and I really appreciate how this all went and it's still super crazy. Again, I'll keep you guys updated and yeah, we will go from there. And as always, I'm sending you guys endless love and endless lucidity.